Yo, what's going on YouTubers? Plumpy Man here, just doing another little video, and today I'm super freaking excited to do this uh, re unboxing kind of review of this. Um, I've been wanting this thing for literally probably over three years now. Like, they've made it off and on, and every single time it was either in stock, I didn't have the money for it, or when I did have the money for it, it was out of stock everywhere on the internet. And I searched even on the, I was going to pay even the second hand price, like basically pay a little more just to get it. And I I never could, I, every time I find one, either someone bought it out from under me or I just didn't have the money at the time. It just never worked out. And I finally kind of got it to work out. I found it online um, in stock and I went ahead and purchased it. And the company sent it to me It said it was out for delivery and then it never showed up. I was ticked. <laughs> so I contacted the company and they're like, I don't know. So I called UPS, the shippers or whatever, the people who's taking it to me, and they lost it. And they never, it never moved from uh, Rhode Island, which is weird, but it said it was going on through. It was like it had been scanned in or something, I don't know. Um, and it said it was out for delivery here where I live in Indiana and it just never showed up. Well anyway, it took like eight days and then finally they made a decision. I don't even know what the decision was or whatever and I called the company back that I ordered it from. I'm not going to mention their names because it wasn't their fault. Uh, it was freaking UPS's fault. So I told them what was going on. They're like, yeah, we can get you set up. Um, we do actually have another one so we'll just ship it out today and they shipped it out again I was like man if this happens again I'm just done with it I it just meant to be not to have this knife and anyway it got here in like two days from out towards New York basically and this is it uh check that out the Microtech Ultratech Bounty Hunter that is such a beautiful knife like I've wanted this for so long. And I finally acquired it. Anyway, I found it in stock. Um, this one was actually made in June of 2022 from or by Microtech. They've been making this knife for probably six years now, five or six years. Uh huh. It's an OTF out the front. Like I said, it's their uh, Ultratech, but man, it is freaking. It's such a beautiful knife. Like, I've wanted it forever. I finally got it for my collection. And I'm going to be carrying it for a while. <laughs> it's pretty freaking sick. Um, this knife is not cheap. I think if you can find it in stock, I actually know where it's in stock now, a couple places, which is my luck. But anyway, um, it runs around 380 bucks to buy one of these. But if you buy one of the just regular Ultratechs from Microtech, they're only like they're like 300 bucks. So it's only like 80 bucks difference to get this pimped out one. With the there you go the Boba Fett paint job on it pretty much <laughs> but like I said I've wanted one of these forever it's got the Tonto blade um, again what bugs me about this and the last one both of the Star Wars theme Microtex that I've owned it doesn't have any markings it does on the blade it doesn't tell it doesn't say if it's M390 or 204P, whatever. It doesn't tell the steel. That bugs me. I'll admit. That right there, 100% bugs me. But the knife is per... Like, it fires out of there. Microtech makes really good out the fronts. And, I mean, it literally jars your hand when it comes in and out. And it's, it's mean. Like, it'll do the job. There is a little... I mean, a tiny, the tiniest amount of blade play, but there has to be a little bit um, for it to work and go in and out smoothly, I guess, but it's not much. I mean, it's just like 
minute but cutting bearing down you're not going to feel it anyway and yeah the thing is solid you got your uh, trusty old glass breaker so if you're ever in a pickle and you need it you can break the glass get out of a situation especially in a car or something like that I do like that but I don't like that I do like it on this one and I don't like it on all of them um, but I do like like it to know the fact that if I'm in a car I got this in my pocket and I somehow need to get out or break the glass to get out or need to break the glass to get into somebody or help them get out I got it like I do like that fact but I don't like it on all my Microtex I will say that but anyway that's it guys that's the Bounty Hunter, the Microtech Ultratech. This thing is solid. And the, the deployment lever, man, that is, it's solid. It's nice. It's not got much. Some of your cheaper model, like OTFs, they rattle and all kinds of stuff. And they're, they're not very strong coming in and out. Um, and then you got Microtech, which is basically like, might as well say the, top well they're not the top of the line but they are like ranked up there in the top of OTF so might as well say they are the top but uh, you get into your marathone uh, they're higher end of out the fronts and then yeah there you go but anyway that's it guys just showing off the Microtech Ultratech Bounty Hunter check these things out if you I mean it this thing hits two like major points like I grew up loving Star Wars my whole life still do so that's one of them and I love knives and I like I love like out the front so and I like my microtech so it's like boom 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 it's a win 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 situation for me it is kinda expensive but if you think about it the regular OTF Ultratech is pretty much 300 bucks uh, this is just a tad bit more and you got the in my opinion the coolest looking freaking OTF on the market personally but <laughs> that's it guys uh, the Microtech Bounty Hunter let me know what you guys think thanks